Hi, in this overview, I would like to show you how you can repeat images in an Excel file. So, in this case, we want to repeat uh, each product that we have linked to an opportunity. It doesn't have to be an opportunity, it can be a quote or anything, any other object in Salesforce. Uh, but we want to re uh, repeat all the products in an opportunity and then print out an image on that product, but also some fields. We have defined a region inside uh, Excel called products. So that's this region and that's the region we want to replace. First, we're going to set up the, uh, the Excel and then we're going to add the images so we can do it step by step. We have already prepared a configuration, as you can see over here. We have uploaded our Excel file and we have a first, um, uh, a first data source called opportunity. So let's take a look at this the data source. Our data source will just select a bunch of fields. It's SQL Builder Managed. So yeah, all the fields are already selected via the SQL Builder. Uh, our opportunity is this one over here. Oh, that's the uh, product, this one over here. And in this opportunity, it's a normal opportunity with a bunch of products that we have over here. And on these products, we have the images. For instance, if we select the uh, solar uh, uh, panels, then you can see that there is an image uh, already linked to this one. Okay, so first setup is that we're gonna um, uh, add some config types and we can say we're gonna, we're gonna add the account name. Yeah, let's do this one. The data source is gonna be the opportunity and then uh, with the account name merge field is gonna be Take a quick look at the merge field. It's called comp. Okay, so that's our account name already. Um, let's always save this. And then we're going to add another data source. And this data source is going to select all of the opportunity products. So um, we have the data source right here. It's also SQL Builder Managed. It will select all the information coming from the uh, opportunity product. And obviously we have here a filter that says, okay, only for this specific opportunity, get me these uh, products. So that's one that we will add as well, add data source, say solar opportunity products. Okay, and then let's add this. Uh, now we have to add a new config type called uh, uh, products, let's call it products. It's going to be a region in this case, and the data source is going to be our opportunity products, and the region is called products. Okay, so uh, that's the region, and now we're just going to add some child elements over here. Uh, let's say that we want to add the uh, product name. That's going to be the uh, product name. Uh, this is going to be... Okay, I have to do the product name. Okay, I see I will have to update the, uh, the Excel file. So let me save this and then update the Excel file before we continue. Excel repeater demo. Okay, and then let's always save the configuration. So let's add the other fields as well. That would be the uh, quantity, quantity, okay. And then it's going to be our quantity. No, I don't want any formatting because I'll let Excel do the formatting. And then I have a field called quantity. So, and the last one I want to add is going to be the price. So I'm going to add the price here. Okay, and then uh, this is going to be the total price. No formatting again. I want Excel to the formatting. And then we're going to say here the merge field price. Okay, let's save the server. Um, and then let's already see if we can generate this, uh, this Excel file. I'm going to open, I'm going to generate the Excel file. Then it will download this one. And let's take a look at uh, if all the products are there. So while well, it's opening the Excel file, yes, I can see that it changed the company name. All my products are there and I have the quantity and the prices as I expected. Cool. That's already working. Now let's add the image. To add the image, uh, I'm going to widen this column a little bit. 
and I also gonna make it a little bit bigger like this one because of course a small image like that that's not very nice then uh, I'm gonna introduce insert a new uh, picture so I'm gonna upload the picture from my device Okay, this is gonna be my placeholder. And then uh, okay, I have to, of course, resize it that it would fit the uh, the box that I intended it to fit uh, where it should fit. I'm gonna place it right here. So this is now placed nicely inside of this uh, cell and the cell is made bigger so the image would uh, would fit nicely. Let's save my uh, my Excel file and then let's go back to the configuration. In the configuration, I would now need to create a new um, data source. In our case, images will be linked to the product. So if we have uh, some products over here, we can see that this product uh, or this opportunity product is linked to a product. And obviously we would keep the image directly linked to the product. So on this product, um, for the solar panels, we have in the files indeed the logo that we want to show so this is the logo that we want to show and uh, see here it starts with the word logo so what we want to do now in this use case is only display images that start with the word logo might be that related to your product you have multiple images but in this case we only want the word uh, the, the, the images that start with the word logo so let's start creating a data source. The data source will be a child of our solar opportunity products that we have just used. So we're going to create a new child on this one. New. The child is going to be of type picture list. So uh, we're going to, because we want to retrieve the pictures. Okay, next. Then I'm going to call this data source solar opportunity product pictures the pictures is going to be stored in files obviously so that we have just seen the image name should start with logo and then i do a wild card eh? the percent sign is a wild card to make sure that uh, everything that starts with the word logo is uh, is taken the parent data source is already set and then <clears throat> i want to get all the images related to the products that are linked to my opportunity products. So as you can see over here, the uh, product uh, field will have the opportunity, uh, will have uh, the product field on the opportunity product will have our product. And this field name is actually called product to ID. So in our API, uh, the API name would be product to ID. And that's the one that I'm gonna copy and then put this into my data source. So now it knows that it has to get all of the products linked to this, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, all of the product files that are linked to this uh, uh, product to ID. And then that's uh, what we exactly need in our use case. Then uh, let's uh, go to, the, um, to our solar product opportunity products data source i'm going to add a child here it will propose me the child automatically yes this is the child that i want to use and then i'm going to add it so now we have our pictures and now i can just uh, I first have to upload my uh, my updated excel file okay and then um, let's take a look we have forgotten one step in this excel file the next step that we have to say what is the merge field on this picture. So this picture merge field is now gonna be called, uh, let's call uh, like this, and then it's gonna be logo. Okay, so let's uh, save this again, and then upload it to our config. Okay. And now let's go back to our products and say new child. It's going to be the logo. This one will be a picture, obviously. Um, it already knows the data source because there is only one picture data source and the field is going to be low and the merge field is going to be logo. 
Okay, let's save the server. The saving is done, no errors. So let's now generate my, uh, my Excel again. So the Excel is already generated and downloaded. If I would open up the Excel now, it would nicely show each image linked to my, uh, to my products. Some products do not have an image, then the image is nicely removed, but you can see how the images are now being replicated for each product that I have in my overview.